Att Fsai med det skottet och det är en formidabel räddning från Okifi. Frisparken kommer här och den där är inte alls dålig och vilken räddning från Okifi. All right team, welcome back to another video. We've got a special one for you today. Back by popular demand. Today's video, we have the top five saves of 2022 featuring you guys. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down my top saves from 2022, ranking them five to one. I'll also be showing you guys your top saves from 2022 sent in by you. And I'll be picking my top three from those saves at the end of the video. So hold tight. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit that like button down below. Click subscribe if you haven't already. Come and join the channel and let's jump straight in with it. So for this list, I've picked the saves based on lots of different reasons. Some from a technical aspect, some from more of an emotional aspect. As we know in goalkeeping, there's a lot that cross the two. So let's jump straight in at number five. And I've picked this save from the game against Karlstad at home. So let's give it a watch. The corner's played short. The lad has a cross and it hits Henker's leg and deflects up towards the top corner. Now, with this save, the thing that I was pleased about was I managed to read that deflection of the ball, move my feet across and get my top hand to it to deflect it out. If it had just been a normal shot, it probably would have been able to be dealt with quite easily. But because it took that deflection off the defender's leg, changing the height of the ball from actually quite a close range based on where the defender stood, I was pleased that I was able to move my feet across and get that top hand up there. If the ball's coming down, it's easier to use that top hand so that it doesn't nestle in under the bar. You want to get as much reach as possible, so that's why I would have gone with my top hand. If it was a longer shot, I might have gone bottom hand because it was high and coming down. That's why we went top hand and that save makes it to number five. Oj, oj, oj! Det är där skottet! Now at number four, we have a 1v1 save of sorts against Sylvia. We were getting battered this game. A lot of shots, a lot of different scenarios, and this one was about reading body language. Forward picks up the ball on the edge of the box, beats two defenders, goes to play into that bottom corner, and I'm able to read the shot well and get down to make the save. Now I remember this in real time, and I remember going early. Now I would never advocate to guess when you're facing a shot, but I was able to read the body language of the forward and where he wanted to put that ball. He'd done really well to beat both defenders with his body movement, but by the angle of his hips, by where I knew where he wanted to play with his favoured foot, I was pretty certain it was going to come to my right hand side. So I was able to go a little bit earlier and get right into the corner. It's not something you think about, it's more of an instinct reaction. But after facing so many shots from training and games, you start to pick up on those cues. And that's what I was able to do, making that save at number four. Det vänster väl istället att spela in det mot Azizovic som gör det här hur bra som helst och den räddningen ifrån Conor O'Keefe är helt... And coming in at number three we have a double save against FC Stockholm at home. First clean sheet of the season I think this one was. So this was an important save. So the ball's bouncing around on the edge of the box. Bit of a snapshot, get down to my right to make the save and then up quickly again to follow that ball to make that second save. Now don't tell anyone, but apparently the second shot was offside. I didn't know, and I didn't think it was, but you got to make the save anyway. And I remember the first save being difficult because it was coming through a lot of bodies. There was a lot of things going on. It was hard to get the right position and the right view of the ball. So it wasn't the ideal save from the first save. I didn't push it into the best area. Then this is what we work on so much in training, getting back up as quick as possible, exploding up off the floor, and then pushing again. And that's exactly how I remember it with the second save. I wasn't sure where he was going to go. I just wanted to get up and get into that space and be as big as possible. So I remember getting up and just pushing and trying to stretch both arms and keep my body square so that I could cover as much of the goal as possible. I remember the ball just cannoning in off my wrist. It was in the perfect place to intercept. That's the bit of luck that you need. And then obviously there's a bit of noise afterwards after making a big save. And that's what we goalkeepers love. That's when we get the feeling, which I suppose is probably like scoring a goal to attackers, knowing that you've made a difference with a big save. And ultimately, the most important thing, contributed towards a clean sheet. Happy days. Now, coming towards the business end of the list, number two, it's the 87th minute. 1-1 at home, end of the season in a really big game that we can't lose. Let's show you what happened. So the ball's played forward, 
good flick on by the attacker and the centre forwards through, leaving the defenders back. I managed to read the situation, stay in my box and then attack the ball on that 1v1 to make the interception. Probably not a typical save, more of a 1v1 situation and a smother, but I really enjoyed this one because of the patience I remember having to feel. When you see that centre forward breaking through, he's left everybody behind, the temptation is to rush out, engage straight away. But I remember in that moment telling myself, hold, 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 drop getting back into my box, into the zone which I can control. And by doing so, I've put more pressure on him. He can feel the defenders chasing. He can see that the gap is narrowing. And as soon as he takes a touch that's a little bit too big, which he did, I'm then able to rush out with speed, get down, smother the ball, get there ahead of him and protect the goal and ultimately make that save or smother. But it's made my top two. And finally, coming in at number one, my favourite save from the 2022 season, and it's the penalty save away at Hammerby TFF. Now, as a little bit of context, I've been having some rotten luck with penalties before this. I've been making saves and people scoring rebounds, all sorts going on. But this one, towards the beginning of the season, was a big moment. So, number 17 taken, go the right way, up as quick as possible, and I managed to make that second save from the following striker. Couple of things that I love about this save. I remember getting into the centre forward's head before he took the penalty, taking a note out of Martinez's book. Just a little bit of talking, I could see he was under pressure, I could see that he really wanted to score, and I remember just telling him to blast it. I was like, go on mate, just smash it, just smash it. Which he eventually did, so I knew that he was gonna go to that side. But it was high, I had to go with my top hand, which meant it was difficult to deflect the ball away from danger. And as soon as I saw it going back to his teammate, I thought I was in trouble. But again, practicing that movement of getting down and getting up as quick as you possibly can. And then instinct takes over. Just trying your best to get anything onto that second shot to turn it away. Which thankfully, I was able to do and push it over the bar. The celebrations were great. If you look at the guys behind the goal, it always cracks me up their reaction as well. But I really enjoyed that moment. And that one goes down as my favorite save of 2022. But it wasn't only me making saves in 2022. You guys were pulling off some absolute worldies, as always. And we had to make space to show some of your best saves from last year. So over on my Instagram, I asked you guys to send me your best saves. If you're not already following over on Instagram, make sure you go and do that so that you can join in next time. And you guys replied in your hundreds. So we've tried to fit in as many as we possibly can. And there are some brilliant saves in this one. So sit tight, enjoy, and I'll pick my top three afterwards. Oh, it's cleared only as far as King Bruno, gran dribbling entra dentro per Bosi, il tiro e la parata di Becchi, non è finita, De Marchis al volo, la mette
chance in behind. Great save. What a save by Luca Fitzgerald. This ball gets played too. Wonderful outside of the right foot. Some unbelievable saves in there. Thank you so much for sending them in, guys. I'm not going to lie. We had hundreds of saves being sent in. Thank you so much to everyone that sent one. I'm sorry that we couldn't fit everyone in. It would have been the longest episode of all time. We'll definitely do this again. So make sure, as I say, you're following over on Instagram. And hopefully next time we will get your save in there if it wasn't there already. But believe me, I watched them. Unbelievable saves last year from you guys. Absolutely smashed it. But for my top three, on the number three spot, I'm gonna go with Scanlon. Great recovery, making sure that you save that shot from the halfway line. To be fair, it was a great strike, but got back really, really well and got a lot of height on that jump. To get height on a dive when you're going backwards is really difficult, but that's a brilliant save to make sure you didn't concede from kickoff. Great save. For number two, I'm gonna go with Gabriel Becci. Gabriel. Brilliant double save. Down low, great save down low to your right, but then to get back up, reset, and then make that high save afterwards, two for the price of one, two absolute worldies. That's my number two spot. And then for number one, I've gone with David Birchie. David, I have no idea how you've kept that out, number one, and how you've kept it out the way that you did. I didn't know the arms worked that way, to be honest. What a save to push it onto the bar from there, back the way you've come, to make a save from that point, is just unbelievable, but to make a save like that definitely deserves the number one spot. And as an added bonus, your mate's reaction, he was filming it, absolutely brilliant. That's gotta be number one on the list. But as I say, thank you so much to everyone that sent the saves in. We'll do that again soon. This week's patron of the week is Adam Brom. Adam, thanks for supporting us. Thanks for supporting the channel. We wouldn't be able to make these videos without patrons like yourself. So a massive, massive thank you. If you'd like to be patron of the week like Adam, you can sign up using the link below this video. But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope it brought you some value. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button down below. Helps us out loads. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will see you next week for the next video, as always. Look after yourselves, keep chasing improvement, and I'll speak to you in a bit.